Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are checking out the Fiat 500e and as you can see it has a very stylish interior. Uh, it's called Steam and it has orange accents throughout. So we're going to go ahead and go for a quick test drive. So this car still weighs under 3,000 pounds. Do you know what it is relative to the regular Fiat 500? Yep, so it's um, a little over 600 pounds heavier okay. than, a, than a regular 500 with a manual transmission. But still under... Yep. 3,000 pounds, which is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Now, there's multiple electric vehicles here at this event. Uh, so what kind of sets this Fiat 500e apart from these other vehicles? So we like to think of it as just a, a Fiat 500 that happens to be electric. So okay. you're getting the, the fun to drive aspect of the Fiat, yeah. all the personality, the Italian style. Uh, but with zero emissions, right? So, sure. it, and we also wanted to make it really intuitive. There's, there's not really any trade-off for driving the EV here. You're not getting any like weird. You don't feel the the regen braking kicking in. Okay. Um, you're, it's instant torque. So you're not. If people, other than missing the sound of the engine, right, right, people wouldn't really know that this is that this is an electric vehicle. So let's feel that instant torque right here. Wow. <laughs> There's a little hunting with the uh, the motors there, um, but the acceleration is definitely strong. Now, what is cargo space in this like versus the regular Fiat 500? Uh, in the back, it, it should all be the same. I can uh, double check that for you, but I think it's um, it'll be all the same setup back there. Um, I can show you that later. We usually have like a little cargo cover, and you can lay the, the second row seats down okay, flat if sure. you need to carry a little bit more. Additional space. And then, um, actually, with our 2015, we offer an e-pass program. So when you, what is that? Um, when you purchase or lease a 500e, you get credit for uh, basically 12 days of a rental vehicle um, in case you needed something with more range or oh, more okay. cargo space or whatever. So just to kind of lessen any range or cargo right. anxiety. Right, anxiety that thing. comes along yeah, with exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. And so 12 days and that's out of how long? Um, that's for, for the for the life of your... Okay. Uh, your, so if you know you're going to end up going on like a long trip, you don't want to spend any time at a charging station or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, then you can just switch it out for that. So the regen braking will kick in up to 8 miles an hour, or down to 8 miles an hour. Okay, and it'll, it'll shut off at 8, and then yeah. it's just the disc brakes? Yeah. Some of them are more noticeable than the others as far as... When you let off your foot, some of them kind of aggressively decelerate. Uh, are there different driving modes, or is it all one set map for the regen braking for this? Yep, just the one set map. Okay. And I forgot to mention this morning, actually. So we started selling 500Ds in Oregon. Yeah, just pretty about a year cool. ago, but so now they're in so Oregon. So it's just California and Oregon. Yes, yep. Yeah. I was excited that that happened. It's definitely a fun little car, and it has so much power on the low end. 